Good morning. Let's see if this is me. I'm here. Good morning. It's Saturday morning and I wanted to try to do a chat on Saturday morning. So this is the first time. Let's see how this thing goes. Wow, my hair is really like poofy today, but who cares? Um, listen, I just put up a post last night on LinkedIn and on my blog. That's rickgillis.com. And the title is Quantify What You Do. This is number eight of this 16 for 16 series I've been working on for um, this year. And what I really want you to work on and focus on is how to quantify what it is you do. Um, I, in a lot of my speaking presentations, I hear people say, I don't, generate rev I don't generate revenue, therefore I can't quantify what I do. And I categorically disagree with that. Um, I tell the story in the Promote book about an individual I worked with who told me that I mean, I couldn't get anything out of him that he was really proud of having done on his on the work, and he was a payroll guy. And finally, he said he had done a pay, his first payroll. This includes the software and the knowledge and all the stuff that goes with that. His first payroll he had done for this global organization. He had done six thousand paychecks and had zero returns, meaning zero people were you know upset with him because they made a mistake. And you know, you don't mess with people's money and their time and their hours and all that kind of stuff. So I asked him, I said, what took so long for you to come up with that? And he told me, he just says, I was doing what I was supposed to be doing. And that's really kind of the point of this quantification thing because, you know, I want to ask you a question. How many times have you heard of an organization that went out and had and somebody left and they had to replace it took two or three or four people to replace that one person it happens all the time you might be that person and my point to this is maybe you're not be being paid what you're really worth because you haven't taken the time once again i go back to my thing to quantify your value to speak to your value um you know, when I do my live presentations, there's always the point in the, in the presentation when I can see the whole room kind of getting, you know, if it's not a bunch of salespeople because they quantify everything they do on a daily, weekly, monthly basis. But the rest of the room is going, but I don't quantify value. And I have a slide that I put up and it says before they get to that point, because I know when they're going to ask that question, I've been doing this so long. And they say, I can't quantify my value. And I say, yes, you can, because guess what? Somebody knows what to pay you. Therefore, that's a quantification factor. Now, once again, I'm going to go back and talk to you that, you know, this is these, we're tossing those little pebbles in the pond on a continuous basis. You don't know where those ponds, you know, um, where those ripples end up. So you need to be conscious and aware and be making notes of this. This goes back to my accomplishments piece. Um, so what I want you to know is that somebody knows what to pay you, so therefore they know what to quantify you. Now you should know that information, and the easiest way to do that is to go to departmentoflabor.gov. It's dol.gov. Look up what you do. This is something that the government puts out every single month. It's always a month late, so you'll know. But nevertheless, you can look and see what your job, your city, region, area, what it pays, what the average pay is for that. And if you're underpaid, maybe it's because you're not quantifying your value to your to your to management, letting them know that what you're doing for them. And I'm not suggesting making any threats or anything like that. And once again, this is not about bragging. This is about communicating, informing your management that you're worth all that and you should be paid for that. So go to the dol.gov, check out the, um, the wage and hour rates for your region, city, job, position, etc. And know where you're at. If you're being underpaid, maybe it's time for you to go ask somebody something like that. So anyway, um, that's kind of what I wanted to talk about. Go to rickgillis.com. This post is up there today. Click on blog and you can see it. You can also see this on LinkedIn. I'm going to ask you to um, tell people to follow me on, on here on Periscope. I'm going to continue to be doing these broadcasts. And I want your di dialogue, anything that you want me to be talking about, any questions you have. And if once you get on Periscope, you'll know that you can do this live with me while I'm on the air with you. It is Saturday morning. I'm not expecting too many people to be around right now. But hey, this is going to be up for 24 hours. Eventually, we're going to put all these, um, I'm going to be putting all these video up on Facebook. Go to rickgillis.com. You can see me on Face. Excuse me, we're going to put it up on on YouTube. You can go find me at Facebook, Rick Gillis Author, you know, Twitter at Rick Gillis and um, RickGillis.com, LinkedIn. I thank you very much for being here. I wish you a very happy Saturday. Have a good day, guys. See ya. Periscope.